one of the first things we discovered when we began work on fish locomotion and were first able to image the flow over the fins and body of a fish using the laser light and the particles in the water was that individual fins can produce vortex rings like a smoke ring essentially in the water spinning rings of fluid that contain the momentum that was added to the fluid by the flapping fin. And visualizing that structure for the first time and realizing that something that had been completely invisible but was a very coherent structure in the fluid was very exciting to us. One of the key technologies that we use to understand both swimming fish and swimming robots are these high-speed cameras. And these uh, cameras can typically go hundred to thousands and hundreds of thousands of frames per second. And they enable us to get very precise images of swimming fish. In the structure that you see to my left, which is like a fish treadmill, there's water moving past it, and it allows fish to swim against the flow, just as a human being would walk on a treadmill uh, against the moving belt. I'm stirring the particles right now. That allows the laser light to reflect off them, and we get better quality images. The particles are small plastic pieces, about uh, 20, 30, 40 microns in size, and we put in many thousands to reflect the light and enable us to visualize the flow. Probably the greatest challenge fish face moving through water is the density of the water. It's much denser than air, and that makes swimming hard. You have to produce more force. You incur large drag forces that resist your motion. And so fish have evolved many different ways of dealing with that problem. Fish also face an important challenge in maneuvering, trying to move through coral reef environments where there are many obstacles. And so there is a premium, and fish have evolved fins that push on the fluid in many different directions to allow them to maneuver very well through complicated environments.